Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. We provide you with the news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence. And here are the top stories of the last week. Today, measuring a patient's heart and breathing rates typically requires applying some sort of sensors directly to the skin, but new technology invented at Massachusetts Institute of Technology uses an ingestible sensor to monitor heartbeats and respiration from inside the gastrointestinal tract. The silicon peel also contains electronics to process the audio gathered, isolating the distinct sound waves of the heart and breathing, both from each other and from the other background noises made by the body. It also sends wireless radio signals to an external receiver that must be within about 3 meters of the patient. Naturally, the device would probably only stay in a patient's system for a day or two before another one must be swallowed to continue monitoring. The researchers hope the sensor could improve the way trauma and patients with chronic illness are assessed and also be used to monitor soldiers in the field or improve athletic training. There are still no nanobots plan our bloodstreams, seeking and destroying cancer and other diseases. However, scientists at Rice University have just built a molecule-scale submarine, so that's a pretty positive step towards fantastic voyage. The devices are a mere 244 atoms in size, with motors powered by ultraviolet light that turn at over a million RPM. That propels them alone at a solid 1 inch per second, which is a breakneck pace. These are the fastest molecules ever seen in solution. The propulsion method, developed nearly a decade ago by a Dutch lab, is ingenious. When a molecule is hit by ultraviolet light, a double bond holding the atomic motor becomes a single bond and makes a quarter turn. It then jumps another quarter turn in search of its previous lower energy state, and the process repeats as long as the light is on. The scanning, tunneling microscopes the lab uses to track the motion of its nanocars wouldn't work since molecules in solution will quickly go out of focus. Instead, it hit the Wii subs with ultraviolet light and tracked them along a red laser using a confocal microscope. The plan is to one day use the tech to deliver drugs or other medical therapies. Chronic pain is often tough to understand, but a new flexible, implantable electronic device could eliminate while certain parts of your body hurt. And down the road, the system, which features a wirelessly activated light diet by using an emerging technology called optogenetics, might even be able to provide pain relief with the flip of a switch. Key to the new design is a tiny stretchable antenna that harvests energy from radio frequency signals to power the device. The new implantable system, which is based on the very thin soft materials with mechanical properties similar to those of biological tissues, doesn't need to be stuck to a bone. That's important for scientists hoping to better understand chronic pain that emerges from the activity of neurons in the peripheral nervous system and spinal cord. The technique entails adjusting the DNA of neurons so they can be made to fire or can be blocked from firing by shining light on them. The researchers also showed that the implants could be left in for long periods of time without significantly damaging the tissue or impairing motor function. The new technology will open the door to investigations into some very long-standing questions about how sensory information is processed in the spinal cord and help identify the specific roles of the different types of neurons considered to be involved in pain. Vocal cords that produce realistic sounds have been grown in the lab from human cells. Researchers at the University of Wisconsin Medicine took a different approach and grew layers of vocal cord cells onto scaffolds that produced tough elastic tissue similar to those within the natural voice box. When doctors tested the lab-grown tissue in voice boxes taken from dead dogs, they found that they produced the same sounds as the natural tissue. After two weeks in the lab, the two cell types began to assemble into layers that resembled the structure of healthy vocal cords. To test the freshly grown tissue folds, scientists implanted them into one side of voice boxes taken from dogs and attached them to an artificial windpipe to send air through them. When humidified air was blown over the tissue, it vibrated, producing sounds that had the same characteristics as those made by natural dog vocal cords. Lab-grown replacements for damaged vocal cords 
are still years away. More studies are needed in animals to show that they work well and don't provoke an immune reaction and the entire process must be performed with clinical grade cells before the implants can be trialed in humans. Until scientists perfect bionic vision, shouldn't there be a better way for the blind to get around than a simple cane? That's the idea behind Centiri, created by the company Chaotic Moon. It's a sensing headband that helps steer users around by motor-driven haptic feedback. It detects objects in the environment using infrared depth sensors, then varies the level of vibrations to the user's head to help them avoid obstacles. If it's connected to a smartphone with an app like Google Maps, the tool can also safely guide you from point A to point B. Chaotic Moon sees it as more than just a tool for visually impaired. They believe that this technology has the potential for wide use. For instance, it could also be used by troops to keep radio silence in a similar way to a belt-worn device tested by the US Army to help keep soldiers' eyes on the battlefield. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for staying with us. You're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Thank you and goodbye.